Hello! I am going to show you the hover button object. Let's go! We did this page with this object in different styles to show you exactly what you can do. As you can see, you can get different sizes, shapes, backgrounds, effects, styles, and you can add icons if you like them. Now I'm going to show you several templates made with Website X5 with this object inside. Tweaking your call to actions, even in small ways, can have a significant impact on the success of your website or business. You have to keep this in mind. If you don't place your buttons properly, here it is, and optimize them, visitors may more likely ignore what you want them to do or miss out entirely. You have to make your buttons stand out in color, shapes, effects, anything you prefer. And you need to avoid confusion. Make sure that every object you add into your page leads your user's attention to the call to action. Last but not least, create the urgency. With actionable language, hinting they might be missing out if they don't hit on your button. Now we're going to concentrate on this last template, Museum and Art Gallery, and I'm going to show you how I use the Hover Button object. Here we go. First of all, this is your object. You don't know where to find it? Looking to manage. Look into the button section and here it is. You can download it over here and then hit OK. Now let's look into the object and I'll show you what I did. First of all, add your link. I connected my call to action to my website page, to my sitemap. I chose a page here and hit OK, but you can add whatever link you need. Now your call to action text. Remember to go straight to the point, it's really important. Choose your font type, your color, your background color. I'm going to add black so you can see it. There it is, it was see-through before. You can customize your size and add a background image if you want it. You can customize a border in shape and color and you can add rounded corners or make it square. You can add an icon, as I showed you before in the preview. I'm going to show you the difference with an icon. Here it is. There. You can choose where you want to place it, either left, right, top or bottom. And you can choose margins or make it smaller if you need it. I'm going to take this away by right clicking and choosing remove and look into mouse over style. Now here you can pick your text style when I'm on mouse over. I've got underline now. You can choose a different color, background, border and you can add another image. I'm going to show you in this case what happens. There it is. Now only on mouse over I'm going to see the image. And also here I can choose where it has to be. I'm going to remove it again. And in this last section we're going to focus on the effects. You've got 11 different effects to choose from. I suggest you always pick the same effect in all your website. It'll look much nicer. And we're done! I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, please contact our Help Centre.